Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. The Greek fire service says 18 bodies have been found in a forested area of northern Greece hit by wildfires for the past four days. Initial reports suggest those who died may have been migrants. A coroner and investigation team are heading to the scene in the Dadia forest. The Evros region of northeastern Greece, not far from the Turkish border, has been ravaged by fires. Patients were moved from a hospital as the fires reached Alexandropolis. Thailand's former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawatra has been jailed upon returning to the country after 15 years in exile. But many believe he has struck a deal that will keep him from serving more than a short period in prison. He arrived on Tuesday morning in a private jet, ahead of a vote for the next Thai leader. The front-runner is from his few Thai party. He was then sentenced to eight years on former criminal convictions he says were politically motivated. Japan will start releasing treated radioactive water from the tsunami-hit Fukushima nuclear plant into the Pacific Ocean on Thursday. That's despite opposition from its neighbors. Hundreds gathered in Seoul to protest against the water release. The decision comes weeks after the UN's nuclear watchdog approved the plan. Some 1.34 million tonnes of water, enough to fill 500 Olympic-sized pools, have accumulated since the 2011 tsunami destroyed the plant. The water will be released over 30 years after being filtered and diluted. We, the Federation of Trade Union, has come to here to demonstrate and protest against Japan's irresponsible act. Uh, just now, Japan has announced to discharge the radioactive contaminated water into the ocean uh, two days later. But at the moment, we are still questioning about safety of the whole system. Uh, so therefore, we are calling to withhold such actions. Chinese President Xi Jinping has been welcomed to South Africa's capital, Pretoria, during an official ceremony. Xi is in South Africa to attend the BRICS Leadership Summit in Johannesburg. Leadership of the BRICS nations, which are made up by Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, are meeting for a summit where they will weigh expanding the bloc as some members push to forge it into a counterweight to the West. Xi also attended an awarding ceremony to receive the Order of South Africa from his South African counterpart, Cyril Ramaphosa, on Tuesday in the country's administrative capital, Pretoria. Heightened global tensions provoked by the Ukraine war and a growing rivalry between China and the United States have added urgency to a drive to strengthen the bloc, which has at times suffered from internal divisions and a lack of coherent vision. U.S. President Joe Biden has spoken about his own history of loss to the people of Maui after wildfires that killed more than 114 people on the Hawaiian island nearly two weeks ago. The president recounted his personal tale of tragedy, the vehicle accident death of his first wife and young daughter. Biden, who is seeking re-election in 2024, has been criticized by some Republicans and others for his initial response to the Maui fires after he went several days without speaking about the tragedy while vacationing at his Delaware beach house. He says he will expand federal aid to Hawaii and promised help to anyone who needed it. Many of you have lost family, not even sure where some are. I've had a similar experience. My wife, Christmas shopping with my three children. She was killed. My baby was killed. And my two boys were thought not to make it initially. And South Korea has staged an anti-terror attack drill at the National Assembly in Seoul as part of the country's annual Ulchi civil defense exercise. More than 100 personnel from the military, police, fire department and local government were mobilized in the drills, simulating multiple terror attacks on parliament, including chemical bomb and drone attacks. The Ministry of the Interior and Safety said around 4,000 government bodies, along with 580,000 people, participated in the four-day Ulchi exercise to establish national emergency preparedness. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel studios in Lagos.